Hello everybody, this is Emily Esten. I'm the Judaica Digital Humanities Coordinator at Penn Libraries. Welcome to Scribes of the Cairo Geniza, an international collaboration led by Penn Libraries in partnership with universities, libraries, and scholars to sort and transcribe thousands of medieval fragments. The first thing you'll want to do is navigate to our site, scribesofthecairogeniza.org. From there, you'll go to the top right-hand corner to sign in or register for an account. This is optional, but registering allows you to save your work and participate on the talk forums. From there, you'll go to the lower toolbar and select Transcribe. Then, you can select Choose a Workflow. In this window, you can see all ways you can participate in the project. Selecting Sort Fragments takes you to the classification workflows, which you can review in our earlier video. Below are the transcription workflows, easy, challenging, and phrase finding for Hebrew and Arabic. Let's select Easy Hebrew. If it's your first time participating in the project, we highly recommend that you go through the tutorial, which will automatically pop up. I've chosen Easy Hebrew, so all the fragments have been classified by previous volunteers as being written in Hebrew script and will be slightly easier to transcribe. To get started, click Add Transcription on the toolbar. Then, place a dot at the start and end of a line of text. Remember, Hebrew and Arabic are read from right to left, so please start at the right side of the page. A transcription box will automatically appear after you place the second dot. Use the keyboard to transcribe the selected line of text. In the Hebrew workflows, you have the option to choose between modern characters and images of different script types to aid in your transcription. Transcribe all of the words in the selected line of text exactly as the scribe wrote them. Don't correct spelling or grammar. The text modifier options allow you to insert placeholders and modifiers into your transcription. You can check out the field guide in the subject info toolbar for more information. Once you've completed your transcription, press Done. You can move on to start another line of text. Use the toolbar on the left if you're using the English interface, or on the right if you're using the Hebrew or Arabic interfaces, to pan, zoom, and rotate the image, as well as invert colors. If you're logged in, you can save an image to your favorites or add it to a collection. The Subject Info toolbar on the opposite side is a place to access more information about the fragment, including the name and attribution. You can also browse the field guide, revisit the tutorial, transcribe the reverse side of a page, or save your work. When you've transcribed everything you can on a fragment, click Finished. You will be asked whether the subject is complete or if there is still text left that has not been transcribed. Once you've answered the questions, click Done to move on to the next subject. If you have questions or comments about the fragment or your transcription, or are curious to read what others have said, click Done and Talk. Thanks for watching! If you have any other questions, you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or email us at judaicadh at gmail.com.